Hey guys, Dave here again at Kinsale Gourmet Academy. So I'm just going to show you how to cook, pan fry some very, very fresh fish really, really simply. Ingredients wise, I've got a nice piece of turbot here, a bit of lemon, some fennel and a little knob of butter and some salt. So definitely try and use a non-stick pan for this, it makes life a lot easier. So a tiny little bit of oil in the pan. And what we're looking for here is a medium heat, okay? We don't want to go too hot, fish is very, very delicate. If we try to overcook it or cook it on a too high temperature, it just wrecks the fish. So again, a little pinch of Malden sea salt. And then just drop it into the pan. Once it goes into the pan, you're just going to let it cook away there at a nice gentle sizzle. As it starts to cook, the colour of the fish will change um, moving up along the fish, it'll turn snow white. When that snow white effect comes halfway up the fish, we're going to finish it off with a knob of butter, some lemon juice and flip it over. So guys, you can see there on the fish, the colour is starting to change. So about halfway up now it's turned snow white. So what we do at this stage is we get a nice knob of butter, we just crack it in. And when you're cooking with butter, it'll always go snow white and white and foamy. And then after a minute or two, it'll go golden brown. We want to bring the butter to the golden brown stage. And once that happens then, to stop the butter from burning, we're going to squeeze in some lemon juice. And that'll just cool the butter down again. So my butter now is nice and golden brown. A little bit of lemon juice. Finger on top of the fish and then flip it away from yourself. We want to drop in a few herbs. Just from the garden outside. We're going to give it another 30 seconds here on the heat and then take it off the heat and just let it cook in the natural heat of the pan for the last minute or two. A little trick as well when you're cooking fish is that you'll see a little bit of white milk kind of rise to the top of the surface of the fish as it's cooking. It's very important never to overcook fish as well, otherwise it's very tough. So what you can do guys then, just tip it onto the plate and then again get all your herb flavoured butter over the top. And just let that rest for a minute before you dive in. And that's simply how you cook fish. So guys, the fish has been rested for about two or three minutes. My herbs here have gone a little bit crispy, which is quite nice. It adds a little bit of texture to the fish. But if I just break into it here, you can see it's flaking nicely and it's just cooked perfectly. Very important not to overcook the fish.